What's going on there guys? Good afternoon, early evening. Uh, it is the Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this absolutely beautiful cloudy Thursday, October 21st, 2021, about 3.55 p.m. California time. The latest quake on the globe is going to be a 2.8 earthquake into the California region, uh, striking within the last hour. Also some activity uh, ramping up in the New Zealand area as well. Uh, you can see that uh, red circle there indicating a 5.6 earthquake within the last hour. Looks like about 50 minutes or so ago, 55 minutes ago. 231 kilometers deep for this earthquake, 5.6. Got the Hikarangi subduction zone that sits over here to the southeast, uh, eastern area of uh, the North Island. Auckland and Wellington uh, on in their respected places. Kind of struck within between uh, within between them pretty deep earthquake in this area of course the hikarangi subduction zone uh, very capable of producing uh, some si significant size earthquakes there's quite a bit of movement or quite a bit of activity um, in this area south of here recently um, it's a little bit of info on it the hikarangi tectonic plate boundary is a convergent boundary this means that the australian and pacific plates are pushing against each other there are two kinds of plates, uh, oceanic continental plates. Uh, let's see here, what do we got? Here's a little map. You guys can see the Hikarangi uh, subduction zone here, the earthquake striking just about over here in this region. Pretty deep, like I mentioned, 230 kilometers is a pretty deep earthquake, ac uh, pretty deep earthquake activity. Um, not a whole lot of historical activity, uh, or at least information on this. The Hikarangi subduction zone is poorly understood yet potentially the largest source of earthquake and tsunami hazard in New Zealand. Subduction zones are a type of fault and are responsible for the largest and most powerful earthquakes and tsunamis in the world. So we do know that the potential is there uh, to produce large earthquakes. We know that the Hikirangi subduction zone can produce large earthquakes and tsunamis and that these events have occurred in the past. However, we don't know how often these earthquakes tend to happen, nor do we know how large they can be. So... It's just a matter of, uh, you know, when, uh, because that will definitely happen again. Subduction zone quake, like I said, very capable of 8.0 or greater in most subduction zone areas. And I strongly agree uh, with this area producing one uh, at least an 8.0 as well. That would not be good. So anyway, keeping an eye on this area, 5.6, 223 kilometers deep for the... Uh, uh, New Zealand area. Up here to the north, we did have a little bit larger earthquake into the Fiji Islands area, just south of Fiji, a 6.0 earthquake earlier this morning, way earlier this morning, 497 kilometers deep. So a little bit of uh, pressure transfer down here into this area of the Pacific Plate and the subduction zone there, taking place uh, since that 6.0 struck. Also south of Samoa, this one struck kind of um, way, way late uh, last night, 4.8. Up here to the north, a little movement uh, south of Tokyo, 5.5. This one pretty deep into the Philippine um, plate area, 5.5. Uh, looks like 336 kilometers, a pretty deep earthquake uh, south of Japan there. <clears throat> movement in the Big Island. We're on the Big Island of Hawaii, or I should say underneath the Big Island. Kind of ramping up, southeast corner over here. And also down south here where we've seen that uh, little bit larger earthquake strike a few days ago now. Just a couple of small microquakes and pretty deep movement taking place here. A pair of 2.1s kicking off there in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, west Coast kind of lighten up. You can see the trail of activity stretching from the Intermountain West region right up against the, uh, um, the uh, North American Craton here in the Montana down through uh, Utah into Nevada and Southern California. You can kind of see that that trail of earthquake activity defining that uh, oh, it's kind of an interesting little boundary here been watching that for the past few months uh, take shape a lot of movement along the uh, North American plate here including some activity just striking within the last hour 2.8 near Shaver Lake I really haven't seen too much earthquake activity here uh, but uh, we had that earthquake strike just within the last 20 or 30 minutes or so, 8.3 kilometers for that earthquake. Some activity lighting up on the San Andreas Fault as well along the creeping section near Pinnacles, 5.5 kilometers. Typical earthquake uh, depth for this San Andreas Fault system. 
a little bit of movement along the San Jacinto Fault area. We haven't really seen any uptick in swarming since last night around the Salton Sea, but further south off the Imperial 2.3 um, at 11.6 kilometers. And uh, even further south, we had a little bit larger one, a 4.0, down there in the Gulf of California. So activity ramping up, it seems like, along the North American plate, uh, also down in Texas, Oklahoma, and even a little earthquake along the New Madrid area near Holland, Missouri, a 1.8 earthquake at 3.9 kilometers uh, below the surface for that earthquake there. Canada had this one. It looks like the USGS finally issued this. I believe that may have been... Uh, this was late last night, 4.3 up in Canada. Quite a few folks reported filling that up here uh, and, uh, and also to the west here, I believe. So not for sure if there was a, a secondary earthquake or they were just filling the 4.3 from that uh, earthquake near Rocky Mountain House, Canada. Uh, what else we got here? South America, absolutely quiet, folks. I mean, it's not too often we see movement completely halt in this area. But, of course, uh, this is all 4.0 and above, so there could be earthquake activity, uh, but nothing above the 4.0 threshold at the moment in the South America region. Some activity stretching from the Mediterranean Sea eastward. Got Greece kicking up with a 4.6, and some activity around the Iran region and stretching up into parts <coughs> Excuse me, of the area to the northeast here. Yellowstone National Park. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. A little bit of uh, movement. Not much. These signals, these little signatures here from the uh, earthquake activity in Idaho and also that 4.3 in Canada. Kind of a, what's that 4.3 right there? It's kind of drawn out pretty uh, significantly, but uh, definitely showing up nonetheless on these stations there in Yellowstone National Park. No, lo Really no localized swarming to report in Yellowstone at the moment. Things kind of just uh, at a standstill uh, for right now. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Got a series of storm systems coming in here to California tonight and lasting through, uh, well, about Tuesday next week. Looking at about five to six inches of rain for my neck of the woods. And, of course, much more in the Sierra Nevadas and the mountain ranges, coast ranges, upwards of up to 10 inches of rain here just within the next few days. So definitely going to put an end to the fire season, which has been active since about March of this year. Of course, last year we only had about three inches of rainfall total, and that's our rainy season. We should be getting about 13 inches of rain on average for my part of Northern California, and we only got three inches. So, next few days we're going to be getting uh, <laughs> we're going to break that uh, last year's record of only three inches uh, just in a matter of days. So, five inches of rainfall for my area, I will take it, uh, and including the flooding that comes along with it, possibly. Um, the ground is so dry and, uh, it's, you know, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while for it to, uh, to soak in. It's just, it's, it's been so dry the past couple of winters. So we'll take every, every single inch of rainfall that we can get here in California. We need it super bad. We're in an extreme drought and, uh, actually an exceptional drought and it's not good. Not good. We need the rain. All right, guys, we'll chat you guys a little bit later with the update video tonight. Have a good one. Peace out.